Weed. A genuineless wanderer who started in comedy at 17 years old. Come on now. Uh, he can he can trick you with his voice and also a self-proclaimed Latino-ish Julian Fernandez, my friend. Uh, Thank you for being here today. We really you for appreciate having it. Me. Yeah, I really appreciate for this. Sure. So, this is so weird. Uh, just so everybody knows, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so weird, my friend? I rarely do press, and when I do, it's it barely okay. press. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, it's cool. Like I'm kind of like it's just. I've never, I'm never comfortable jumping into things. It's so, it's so funny. Well, look, yeah. I we're here tonight <laughs> for the Hempers of Comedy. Uh, Zach Miller, amazing guy, connected some dots tonight. You're here, and uh, the good news is that we're here to have some fun tonight. And obviously, press is may not be your thing, but the stage <laughs> very much is my friend, yeah. and also behind the microphone very much is your friend. Oh yeah. Would you say that? Oh yeah, I love. I love performing. I yeah. like it's, and it's not like, and again, like back to the that press thing. It's like more, it's like more just going, just jumping into things. It's really like once you, once I get sure. going, anytime I perform, like once it's like those jitters, like just like, oh, I'm just going to go. And then once you just get going, it's, it's yeah. like, oh, okay, cool, cool. So <laughs> We're in it. <laughs> can I ask you a question here? Mm -hmm. um, did you really start comedy at age 17? Was that really an opportunity I for you? I started writing when I was 17. Okay. Uh, like in high school, I I had done like a, a talent show and I had mm. did, I was in theater and everything. I was trying, I wanted to dip my toe in there. And then, um, yeah, and I would always, I would just write in my little, my, my notebook, I would write like, well, iPhones had just come out. Uh -huh. uh, so and I just got one, so I would write in the notes app. I Get would the be, trip notes. Oh yeah, I'd be, I'd be justifying the purchase to, to my family. I'd be like, what? no, it works, like notes, like I can take them. Uh, but I'd be just be writing notes and everything. And then once, uh, once I got into college, I did another talent show there, I actually won. Oh. Uh, or I got came in third. I didn't win. Uh, <laughs> I'm bragging. Uh, <laughs> I came in third, I came in third, I placed, yeah. yeah. And then. But like around that time, I was like, you know what? I really wanted to give it a shot. And then just one day, like right after class, I just beeline to to L.A., yeah. signed up. And then they told me I had to come back next Tuesday for to actually perform. So <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. So I can prepare. Awesome. And Congratulations. Actually nice. like, <laughs> it like works, right? Oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, very uh, plans aligned kind of situation mm -hmm. where like I almost... Like for a split second, I almost didn't make it for my first time signing up for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your career stems back from anything from voiceover animation to onstage comedy um, impressions with Dana Carvey. I mean, this is a, this is a quite a career that you've developed over many many years. What was that journey like going through this process? How did these, some of these connections come about? Was it just it, what was your impression? It's a it's such a cliche thing, but it's it, it a lot of it has literally been right place, right time. Wow. Um, I I've had a weird weird trajectory of just luck come my way with like certain stuff, like the Dana Carvey thing. Um, I had done I, a friend of mine had hit me up saying that they were doing open calls. They were planning to do a sizzle so they can try pitching it and this and that. And they're doing it at this club and they're looking for impressionists. He hit me up immediately. I signed up immediately. I got like third third person in line. Wow. And then they tell everybody, oh, as soon as you're done, sit in the audience and watch everybody else yeah. <laughs> do, impre do impressions. And they all range from like friends that I knew that I'm like, oh, they're really good. I hope I hope we all get in to mm -hmm. people I've never met. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like anybody yeah. <laughs> I've ever heard of. Um, did that, didn't get into the sizzle, but you know, they had my name and I was like, that was so mm -hmm. cool. So I was like, all right, cool. If that show airs, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, show gets picked up. I hear about it. Friends are telling me like, hey, it's on this no website, way. it's on that website. And I had just, like, I literally had just stopped using the like casting websites mm -hmm. and trying to find like acting gigs. I was like, I want to just focus on stand up. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, that's an opportunity that I'm just going to pass. It's fine. It's whatever. It's good. Uh, literally like a few days later, I get an email mm -hmm. from someone. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm a producer over at uh, uh, USA Network. We're doing Dana Carvey's First Impressions. I came across your YouTube video and I want to I want to bring you into audition. Okay. I'm like, this is awesome. This is going to be great. Yeah, I would love to come in. The next day I get another email, different producer, same, same thing. 
But this time, we remember you from the auditions. We want you to come in to oh. thing. I'm like, oh, well, somebody already hit me up and they saw me from YouTube. Go with them. Go with them. They're, you're better off going with them. And I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. And I found out because <laughs> they messaged <laughs> everybody who was who came out to audition that day yeah. uh, just to come in for the actual thing. Okay. But the, I mean, I, I lucked out. This woman just stumbled on a video of me doing impressions on stage in my stand up. Yeah. I came in. Did impressions came came into like a build in a basement of a building. Did impressions for them, uh, and left. And then like a month or so later, I get a call saying like, "Hey, you're on the you're on the show. You're on the show." Leads into po- probably like laughs on Fox to yeah. other great talented o- yeah. opportunities as well. That yeah, a lot about. of a lot of, some stuff here and there have, have like pinged off each other, which has been cool. Uh, but yeah, a lot of time, a lot of times it just always starts off with like just like that one right place, right time moment, mm-hmm. uh, which is just is the best kind of moments to have. And it really is. <laughs> it really is. It's like serendipitous, right? Just yeah. crashing together. Like tonight, we got the Hempers of Comedy here tonight. We have a few friends that are coming here tonight. Some people you may know of or may not have worked with, but should be a great show overall. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, you've known Zach for a while. You worked with Zach in yeah, the past. I, yeah. yeah, I met Zach. We were actually talking about this. I met him, I want to say pretty early on uh, yeah. over in Claremont. Uh, oh, San I was, Diego. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh. Claremont. Uh, <laughs> Claremont, like Inland Empire. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Los yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like right, right, a little farther. <laughs> a little farther, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I was a house MC for this club. That's not there anymore. Uh, but he would he would frequent. He would frequent a lot yeah. and be like featuring or he'd close out a co- uh, comedy competition they were doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd be hosting. So we got to know each other from there. And, you know, he kind of he gave me some advice here and there. And mm-hmm. uh, eventually I found out that he was running rooms himself. And it was just one of the same thing. It was one of those moments where it was just. Yeah, you don't. You don't really know. You're never. You're. You're gonna miss all the shots if you don't take them. Yeah. So I got the courage to be like, "Hey, Zach, like I would love to do one of your shows." And he's like, "Sure." Yeah. Yeah, man. (laughs) 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 We'll get you (laughs) off. He's a man of his word. Smoke is coming out of his mouth. Yeah, exactly. Right. Who's the hamper of comedy? He's the hamper of comedy. You know. But uh, but yeah, he 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 started hooking me up with shows in San Diego, and then that just. It just kind of snowballed into just yeah. help, like just more spots here and there, and just helping out. Have and you done a show here tonight at the Vault Dispensary and Lounge before? Is this or is this your? This first is my time? first time here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is a different experience, but semi relatively uh, experience you're probably used to, but or have been through before. But you can smoke in the lounge. Comedy is going on in the lounge. Yeah. What do you think of all that? That is very appealing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> first and foremost, very very appealing. Yeah. Um, I've done it's uh it's so funny. Like uh, since stuff has started opening back up, I've like the most shows I've done recently have been marijuana based. Yeah. Uh, where I did I did a show out in uh, down in Phoenix doing it for a, a trade uh marijuana trade show. Or it's nice. just a whole venue filled with with smoke. I've done uh, a little shout out for Billy Anderson, uh, his, his show, Gate, Anderson. The Gateway Show, okay. uh, where you do a set normal and then you go out, get flat. Oh, all right. Yeah. High, come there back and do go. another set. Um, so How'd I, you do? I, I can't wait for the tape. I can't wait to get the tape of me at one of my stoned. It's, uh, it was great. It was so much please, fun. Please tag us. Please tag us oh, when yeah. it comes out. I want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got my camera here too. Like, I can't wait to get this. This is like, it's so it, it's it's very real. It's not something I would do regularly. Would yes. uh, like go up on go up and uh, stoned or even drinking. Like mm-hmm. I tried my best to like all right, well, I'll do a little one beer, but I won't like go crazy. Oh, maybe like just a hit, but I'm not gonna go crazy or just yeah. abstain from that until after the show. Um, but when it's a show where it's like you're encouraged to do it, it's kind of a little freeing, and especially mm-hmm. when the audience knows, like, oh, they're probably high. Yeah. Uh, then it's like, cool, I can work on literally anything. <laughs> That's what we're here for, you know. I mean, the hempers of comedy, the vault, dispensary, and lounge, right? I've got a wheel down here. I'd like oh. to spin. Okay. These are random questions. Oh. About Zach or for Zach, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Would you be open to uh, picking a random question? And, sure, uh, that sounds like These fun. are just random, crazy questions. They don't mean anything, but please uh, feel free to pick one out. I'll read it you if you don't mind. So, well, this is our, this was our, <laughs> this was our, our uh, little fortune wheel there. Okay. 
What do you think Zach's chances are on winning a ticket for the next commercial space flight? And what would he do if he did go up? Oh, his chances are for sure zero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a fun dream to have. I would love to see. I would I would I would I'd give a, I'd sell out like my family to see to like for them to announce like and on the next shuttle is Bill Gates, Steven Spielberg, and Zach Miller, and then oh, it's yeah, just right? Zach. Just <laughs> and I, yeah, you just be just like it'd be the first. I don't even know. Have there been someone? Has there been an astronaut who smoked weed in space? If not, Zach Miller would be the first astronaut to smoke weed in space. <laughs> <laughs> I love and it. I, for for him, I'm sure he would also pour in the first Jewish astronaut to smoke in space. Uh, I, you know, just with uh, the tracksuit. He's got a. Gold. He's got. He, that's his space outfit. It's just a tracksuit. That's all. Like they're gonna do it. They're gonna figure it out. It. Yes, that's, for sure. Once they for get the sure. tracksuit technology, for that's sure. what it is. That's what NASA's really working on right now. Julian Fernandez, <laughs> the man. I love it. I've had so much fun here with you today. Thank you so much for for having Thank us. Thank you. We're, this was a lot of fun. We're gonna have a um, we're gonna have a gift for you t- uh, here with fourteen pre rolls in it. Thank you awesome. so much. Yes, um, that'll be here for you. Um, What's going on? What's new? What would you like to promote uh, in the in the near future? Uh, I'm bringing back uh, my podcast, Genderless Wanderer. Uh, yes. Talks all Thank things you. about how my experience as a non-binary person. Yes. Uh, and just, and I, I'm going to be having guests on and everything. Kind of went a little hiatus in the middle of, of 2020, <laughs> understandably. <Yeah>. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but bringing it back. Um, so I got that going on. Shows are kind of slow. Fall's always been kind of a weird a weird time for me, but I'll be doing quite, hopefully quite a few festivals in October. Um, but I mean, ev- everybody can see everything I'm doing, all social nice. media at Julian F comedy, uh, TikTok, Instagram, only fans, everything. Uh, the genderless so yeah. wanderer, genderless wanderer podcast, iTunes, it. And hopefully YouTube, uh, we're figuring yeah. that out. Uh, Possibly some I say animation. we, it's just me. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah uh, Julian F. Comedy for all my all my stuff. And then my website, Julian F. Comedy too. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good thank luck you. out there tonight. Have some fun Appreciate tonight. Appreciate it. All thank right. you guys. Very nice to meet you. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Thank you. And we're out.